Square Appointment Tutorial Step-by-Step. Step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we're going to be talking about Square and how you can use this amazing platform and this amazing software to set up appointments for yourself. Now, obviously, we're already pretty fond of Square and all the features that Square actually provides us, you know, Square is great for domain. Square is an amazing website builder. Square is even really good for your payments. But what Square also does for you is you can set up appointments on Square. And obviously, it's not your conventional appointment setter app. But trust me, a lot of people actually use this. And I wasn't aware of it to be an appointment setter. But I was made aware really recently by a friend. And trust me, it has changed my life because making appointments and setting appointments on this is really simple. And that is what we're going to be talking about. So please do make sure to watch this video till the end to get the general idea of Square. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Firstly, what we are going to want to do is we're obviously going to go ahead to the Square website and we're going to go to the URL where it's going to take us to the appointment section. Now, once you're in the appointment section, obviously you are going to want to sign up with the square up website so for that we're going to click on get started okay and there's a few pricings that you can go ahead with but it's also on the free terms so you're good to go if you want to go with the free thing now over here what you're going to do from here is you're going to come here and we're going to enter our email so i'm just going to do exactly that now once you enter your email just confirm that it's the same email then we're going to ahead and create a password for ourselves and once we have entered a good and well password agree to their terms and click on continue so there you go your account has been created just a few more questions to get your earning with the right tools so a few more details about you these fields will also be surfaced to your customers on your online booking site if you choose to have one so i'm just going to go ahead and add that then you have your business phone number you don't again necessarily need to add these things and then once you've done that uh let's say i'm gonna add three zero zero okay you can add a number like that because it doesn't really need to be an accurate number and it says tell us about your business if you don't have a business name use your personal name to let your customers know who they're booking with so i'm just gonna go with a random like business name i'm gonna call it electronics okay and we're gonna click on continue now once you click on continue from here it's like, tell us about your staff and location for your electronics. Uh, you know, knowing the size of your staff and number of locations, including mobile and virtual, will help us better understand your booking needs. So a number of staff, uh, you know, could be just you or, you know, a, a few more. I'm going to go with uh, two to five. OK, number of locations two. number of services offered one to nine. And we're going to click on continue. And once you click on continue, it says, tell us about your revenue. Knowing your business's estimated monthly revenue and average ticket size will help us understand better. So I'm going to go with less than 20,000 per month. And uh, because obviously we're starting off average ticket size, less than 50. We're going to click on continue from there. Which features are you interested in? So obviously accepting payments because obviously we're going to be accepting payments. A uh, customizable online booking site because obviously we want to make an online site for our appointments. And uh, if you want to sell products, you can. But in the case of appointments, I don't know why that would be useful. Uh, but yeah, uh, accepting payments. That's obviously for your Square payments. This is for your Square website builder. And this here is your Square data handler. So commission tracking, multi-staff appointments. You can mess with that as well. I'm going to skip that and click on continue. It says get square appointments on iOS and Android as well. I'm going to skip that part. And here we are. So configuring square appointments account for electronics. Obviously, that is me. And we're just going to wait for things to load up and, you know, start seeing the lovely features that it has to provide us. Now, the features that it gives you is quite fun, actually because it gives you a whole general output of how things are supposed to work for an appointment section. Now, this appointment section that we're going to be talking about, let's say in my case, we're going to go with the theme that I am a gym instructor. Okay, 
So I'm a gym instructor and I give gym classes. So, you know, people are keeping appointments for gym classes. Like they can have memberships, but they can also take appointments for one or two classes if they want to. So here you are. Welcome to Square Appointment. You know, this is a 30 day free trial, so you can start your setup immediately. And once you click on start setup, it takes you over here. This is your primary setup. So first of all, you're going to set up payments, set up your location, and then you're going to create your services. And obviously there's advanced setups as well, but those are really advanced. We're going to get into those later. You're going to obviously go with the basic things. So obviously you're going to uh, set up your payment section. And obviously your payment is going to be affiliated with Square Up Payments. Okay. So set up your payments. And obviously the payment setup is like a whole walkthrough of uh, onboarding and validation. So uh, once you set it up your payments, you're just going to go straight into setting up your actual services. Okay. And making your services is the main part. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create your services. And it takes me to the services section. And that is exactly what we're going to want to do. So in the services section, uh, basically, I'm just going to wait for it to load up. Here we are. So here, first of all, it says create a service, right? So let's create a service. I'm going to name it Pilates. I'm going to call it Pilates class. There we go. Category. Obviously, I'm going to keep it in gym. There we go. Description, you can add a service description that in this Pilates class, I'm going to teach you this, I'm going to teach you that, etc, etc. You can drop an image of the Pilates class, you can even drop an image of yourself. Uh, location, just add whatever location you're at. The price could be fixed or, you know, it could be variable. I'm going to go with a fixed price and I'm going to say it's $9 per hour. Okay, the cancellation fee is going to be $4, let's say. Duration, obviously, I'm going to go with one hour. And uh, it's like full one hour. So for one hour, I'm going to get $9. Add processing time. You can optimize your schedule and allow customers to book during processing time for you. So you can add that feature, block extra time appointments. And once you do all of that, you are just going to go ahead and click on save. You can also add variations to this appointment. Uh, but yeah, once you do this, look at that. So you now have a service. And now you can actually publish and add this service into the, you know, appointment shift that you have over here. So once you've had a service, then you're just going to come here. And uh, yeah, that's how you're going to set up your upcoming appointments. Just add services and uh, yeah, you can create test appointments for yourself as well. So let's say I'm going to create uh, reservation appointments. But yeah, basically, that's the main gist of it. That is how you are going to be making these different types of appointments for yourself in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So just create a test appointment, save it, add the service that you're going to give them, add a service right here. And yeah, you're going to be pretty good to go. So that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.